Hey guys, this is the last in the shooting at things series for the moment while we're still doing sort of low tier. So I decided I should also do the Germans because playing the Yanks uh, or the British sometimes we come up against German tanks. Um, so I decided to take a quick look at the Panzer threes because that's uh, one of the most common ones in that in that tier. So I've got the Panzer three J, which is the low two point three BR uh, Panzer three L, um, which is the three uh, three and the Panzer. 3M and I'll explain to you the differences between them and why some are better than others and then also where to shoot at them. So if we kick off with the Panzer 3J, um, it has a 5cm gun, okay, and you can look at the armor penetration is around 80, so it's pretty decent. Um, it's a it's a KWK L42, um, uh, so it's not a bad gun for that sort of tier and it'll take on uh, a lot of tanks. However, um, it will bounce a lot off uh, T-34s, which is what it did in uh, reality so you've got to get your angles right um, it's a short five centimeters so the penetrating power is not as good as the 3L or 3M so the 3L uh, has the long what they call the long five centimeter and you can see the penetrating power is considerably increased um, the 3M has exactly the same gun so it's it's no better or worse at killing things um, but it is a lot more of a survivable and quite a forgiving tank in this tier um, so if we kick off to go back to the um, the Panzer 3J, so the Panzer 3s are all very similar in layout, so much like the T-34, once you know how to shoot one, you can probably shoot them all pretty much the same way. Um, and if we look at the armour, you can see the, the Germans make things in boxes, or they made things in boxes until the T-34 came along and they learned, mm, sloped armour is maybe a better option. So early tanks are box-like, and that includes the, the Tiger, which in, it was sort of a mid-war tank before they realised that sloped armour was better. Um, and so although it has its thickest armour at the front here of 50mm, uh, the front is slightly sloped, so it's a bad place to shoot. But this box here is where you want to aim if you've got a fire front on. You don't want to be firing at the gun again unless you're doing Hail Marys. Um, and you've got two options here so the weak points again are the machine gun port or the driver visor so you hear me saying hit the visor slot hit the visor slot if you're shooting from the front that's me telling you to go there um, and why do you shoot the visor over the machine gun if you if you've got the choice and that's because look who's on that side of the tank you've got your driver and gunner they're the two chief guys you want to knock out you don't care about the commander and the loader as much as the machine gunner these are the two dudes so if you can go for a side go for this side they're less likely to shoot back if you get a penetration and they're less likely to move for some time um, you see they've also got the what's called the dustbin um, uh, coupler on the top uh, this thing was a little bit of a liability and they changed it after a while and partially because it stuck up a bit and I think when it got shot it tended to fly off and leave a big hole in the tank and you get stuff coming down so they, they you'll see in later tank designs I think all the threes are the same uh, they start to change that dustbin type of arrangement um, so like all tanks um, in War Thunder you want to hit things from the side wherever you can um, you'll notice that it's very thin on the side of a Panzer III. So again, when you're driving a Panzer III, you want to be front on or preferably a little bit angled. And there's why, because your 30 mil goes to 67 and your 62 goes to whatever. So as the box-like tanks also uh, benefit greatly um, from uh, being sort of slightly side on. So if you see someone coming up towards you and they are angling themselves like that, they're doing it on purpose because they're a bit smart. Um, You'll notice though, unlike the Russian T-34, there is no shot trap. And this type of shot trap, little shot trap there is, they're trying to protect it by having this tiny little fin of um, uh, welded on steel to stop that from happening so that the shell bounces in some different direction. Um, they've also got a very flat turret arrangement um, to try and prevent that from happening. So not so smart, no sloped armor, a bit more smart with their shot traps. Um, when you're shooting from the side on a, a Panzer III, you've got a couple of options. You can go for the back side of the turret, where the uh, the, uh, the ammo chuck out doors are. Uh, it's a bit of a weak point. And also you can hit the commander and potentially the gunner in that. Um, the armour is a bit thicker up there though than, than down on your side, and it's a little bit sloped. So um, I like to go for my first shot, um, actually this front section here I, only because uh, if you particularly if you're firing from distance it's a little bit easier to aim at and it's a little vision 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 port marker you're likely to take out the machine gunner and the driver and if you're lucky you'll get a bit of bounce back 
However, you can are more likely to first shot the tank if you aim sort of in the center of the turret, but on the superstructure. So again, here you're taking out Gunner and probably the guy beside him, which is the loader, um, but also you've got a really good chance of ricocheting down into some of this stowed ammo. And unfortunately, um, that's the other thing that, that the early German tanks were not that great at, is how to stow the ammo. Um, now the ammo is quite small for a five centimeter, so it's not quite as bad, but you do have that opportunity for side shots to, to take out ammo and cause a, a chain reaction. Um, and they're all laid out the same. So if you're shooting in any Panzer III, you can do it in basically the same way. So if we go back to armor, um, you'll see here, the same point, the vision slot. Now there's lots of applique armor on the, the Panzer 3L because they realized the Germans that the 3J just wasn't cutting it against the T-34s. And so if you look at um, what they're doing here, um, if you look at, say, if I look top down and I look at the 3J top down, Look at that, that's the same design, but what's the difference, apart from a longer gun? Here's some spaced armor on the front of the, the, the turret mantlet because the, the mantlet was a bit of a weak point sometimes of get, getting shot jams. And they've also got thin spaced armor on the front. And that is simply to try and stop penetrations going through here and through here. So you'll notice though, it's still a weak point. There's no coverage of, of that. And that's in a way that applique armor is to try and sort of dent the shot before it hits and take out some of the impact force. It's not meant to stop the shell from getting to the main armor, it's just meant to sort of slow it down or retard its tra trajectory or make it shatter in some cases. Um, same shooting spots otherwise. When you go to the 3M though, and this is why the 3M is a nicely survivable tank, you've, you've got your spaced armor again on the mantlet and on the front, um, but you've also now got Scherzen which are the spaced armor around the sides. Now these were mainly applied not to stop normal tank shells. They were to stop um, bazooka rounds, which were a heat round. Uh, if you detonate on the um, Scherzen, most of the heat or the explosive through um, happens outside the armor. Um, and the same is when you look at some of the ammo, you'll see the ammo has like an explosive filler. That explosive filler detonates too early and it's not as effective. Um, but that means that even normal shots have lose a bit of penetrating power as they go through as well um, or it could cause them to deviate in direction and you get more of an angled shot so that's why your um, 3m is a really good tank to take if you can get it in the mid tier it's got shooting power to take out a t-34 if you get it in the right spot or at an angle or on the side um, uh, and it also has the ability to take a few shots back whereas the 3j just just doesn't it'll, it'll die almost first shot every time